The problem with ketosis is that it works too damn well. I am not hungry. Too damn well. So I'm doing a too mad today. Welcome to a too mad, oh mad, too mad, oh mad. <laughs> a too mad keto vlog. Yeah, it just works too damn well with crushing hunger. And if you are doing OMAD, I highly recommend you do Keto OMAD. Um, every month I did Keto OMAD, I dropped the most weight with ease. But make sure you're doing Keto properly. Um, I have a grocery list or that I have, and I did like a little grocery haul yesterday. I'm sharing with you the foods I am currently eating. And today I am gonna go to the Calgary Farmer's Market just to get a ribeye steak, cause I like their ribeyes. I bought a ribeye at a regular store for the same price and it was absolute crap. I just want quality meat, you know? Uh, it's an organic ribeye, but it's like from the farmer. So it's so good. But yes, welcome to my two mad. If you're new here, welcome. This is my OMAD transformation. I lost 60 pounds with one meal a day. I started my weight loss journey off at 282 pounds and I am on a mission to pretty much just get back on track. I've lost my way a bit with everything that has gone on. I'm dealing with a lot in my life, a lot. <laughs> Um, if anyone would know what's really going on behind the scenes, but I'm the kind of person that like, I don't open up to a lot of people, a few people know, and I just like figure it out on my own because we all have our crosses to bear, but eventually it'll be revealed, but I'm working through it all. And the reason why I'm doing a two mad today is because I'm going to the gym and I am building muscle. So I think it's important for me to not do an OMAD. So I'll just do a two mad just to give my metabolism that extra boost. So let's share my two mad meal. So here she is. This is a very fatty almond. It has 24 grams of butter, two eggs, um, 40 milliliters of heavy cream. So that's like whipping cream. So that's like 36% cream and one serving of cheese. And I have a carbon nut bread with about three grams of butter on there. All right, low blood sugar event. My blood sugar is at 3.0 and I'm in the sauna. This seems to happen all the time when I'm in the sauna. It's funny because I just got off a three day fast and my blood sugar never went to the threes. I just did a workout, burned 700 calories, um, just body weight, kind of taking it easy on my knees and my blood sugar went low. Also, I took a berberine earlier today, so I don't know if that has anything to do with it. That. and I'm on my period so yeah there we go low blood sugar event strict ketosis <laughs> one thing I forgot to mention during that low blood Google's level event I feel absolutely fine 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 like I feel normal I feel like I have tons of energy bloated from my period <laughs> but I feel absolutely normal I don't feel dizzy I don't feel any concussion symptoms I'm just in deep ketosis right now so this is why we do an extended fast before jumping into keto. It just makes life easier, so. All right, I'm heading to the Calgary Farmer's Market with my dirty gym self. Well, I change clothes at least, and I am so cold. It's only seven degrees, but I'm cold with this low blood sugar now. Um, I'm burning fat, so I'm gonna get a ribeye and some vegetables. So my glucose levels after coming back from the gym, I'm still at the gym, well kind of, I went to the farmer's market, um, in the sauna I got really, really low. And then after the sauna, um, I went to the farmer's market, picked up some ribeye and some keto stuff. And then I looked at my blood glucose monitor, my CGM, my continuous blood glucose monitor, and it sh my blood sugar levels shot up above six above six and now it's crashing down to below four and guess what i'm feeling i'm feeling hungry so it is 
true that it's the glucose spikes that causes hunger and I wasn't hungry all day until now because I'm doing keto so the body's so smart like the body is so cool and I love that I have this CGM because I'm just learning so freaking much so I'm doing a two mat so I didn't eat last time I ate was 8 a.m. in the morning it's now like 5 p.m. and like the body is just like I was saying earlier it is so intelligent but what I really wanted to say was let's say you're eating your meal in a way that is not preventing glucose spikes let's say you're jumping in with the sweets or you're jumping in with the starches and you're not starting off with the vegetables or you're not mixing the starches with the vegetables and the protein and then you eat that meal and then you're hungry afterwards why because you just spiked your insulin your glucose levels and consequently your insulin levels so that's why this food order hack is so crucial in learning how to do and learning how to eat in a way that prevents glucose spiking because it's gonna help teach you to keep the weight off so it's happened many times where people would eat a breakfast and they would be like hungry right after because you're getting glucose spikes so the key is to flatten that glucose curve flatten the curve and eat your vegetables all right let's get this little two mad going a little bit dirty there i've got 108 grams of avocado and 123 grams of pork ribs however we're gonna deduct the bones so i'll let you know what that is after i eat all right cooking away cooking away i had some meat that i needed to get cooked because if i didn't cook it it would have spoiled so this is turkey i'm gonna have to eat this the cookies. I bought these at the farmer's market today, but they're good on their own. Like, I don't know. I don't know what these are. This is how a keto meal should look like. I believe this is 50 grams of mixed greens and four ounces, that's smoking away, of turkey, ground turkey. Um, my personal trainer at Good Life I have two personal trainers don't ask okay it's gonna be down to one eventually pretty soon probably in April because um, my body's messed up and I need someone in person I paid for a package and I told her I was doing keto and she was like me, uh, like she asked me about like vegetables and stuff I'm like yeah I'm making sure to get it in and she's like good because a lot of people do keto and they don't end up hi Bo <laughs> getting in enough vegetables but marcella has got me covered on that aspect so there you have it oh and there is uh about one serving of raw natural caesar dressing in here too just to add a little more fat guys i'm being so lazy i'm about to pass out but this is 100 grams of a ribeye <laughs> I just gotta eat all this food. What am I gonna do? I just I just had half the ribeye. And then I'm probably gonna have some nuts just to get my um, fat ratios up. My polys, monos, and saturated. All right, so that day I had a total of 1,958 calories. Macros and macros are net carbs, 35 grams fat 155 grams and protein at 108 grams i love that 71 percent fat 22 percent protein and 35 percent no 35 grams seven percent carbohydrates that is a beautiful beautiful i would say bodybuilding style keto diet right there it was a keto too mad i had in enough protein in between 0.5 to 0.8 grams per pound of body weight and my fat was the highest and my carbs my net carbs were still under 50 so I would call that a win anyway if you made it this far into the video just drop in the word net carbs and I'll see you guys in the next vlog take care bye